it's time. It is time to have him back on this program, and it's time for him to go back to the playoffs in the National Football League. He's the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield joining us here on the Rich Eisen Show. How you doing, Baker? I'm doing great. How are you? Man, you look good. The beard's tight. The beard is tight right now. Been working on my lineups, yeah. Okay, because, you know, I'm saying, I mean, um, uh, playoff beards normally get long. You know what I mean? Like, normally Brett Kiesel used to show up like, you know, a cough drop brother. You know, one of those guys. But you're tight, man. You're tight. Cough drop brother. Wow, that's uh, you okay. Like that? That's vivid. That's that's what's yeah, called imagery. It, Amen. It is. My, one, like my school won the national championship right now, so I'm seeing everything clearly. Baker, you know what I mean? Like, that's my life right now. Congrats on that, by the way. Thank you. Let me tell you something. When you planted that flag in Ohio State, you had me at hello, brother. You had me at – you have no idea. So many Michigan fans root for you because of that, Baker. That's a fact. I love it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. So, let's go. Uh, what's your mindset? Walk me through what you're thinking about with this big start on Monday Night Football, Baker. Just another yeah. opportunity for us. You know, we, we played them really early in the season uh, when we were still offensively trying to figure out who we were. Right. And not really knowing our identity – scheme wise what we were going to be good at and we've we've improved a lot um but it's still they're still a great ball club they still have the, the front that's one of the best in the league so we gotta gotta know how to attack gotta be aware of certain guys on the edge and up front um and, and just take care of the ball I, I think that's the biggest thing looking back on it we didn't start fast against them and we didn't take care of the ball and a, and a good team like that is going to take advantage of it and and what did it mean for you to quarterback a team that's made the playoffs this year for you um, just another opportunity for me to have fun playing football again was was a blessing in itself. But then to be able to come here and be surrounded by this locker room, it's a special group. And uh, you know how I am. You know, nobody really gave us a chance at the beginning, but, you know, division champs again and got a chance in the playoffs. And so we've been improving at the right time of the year. And we just wanted a chance to get in to, to see what we can do in the playoffs. And what what uh, connection? You clearly have a connection with Mike Evans. And I, listen, you're a smart guy. Find 13 doesn't take anybody that brilliant to figure that one out but you did obviously find him over and over again how did you get that going so successfully in your mind this year baker well a, a lot of it goes to mike um to be honest with you he's just he's a special talent in itself uh, obviously a big big receiver but he's so fast and just I think when it comes to the non-physical things, uh, just the communication uh, between me and him talking about how he's going to run routes based on certain leverage or coverage and understanding um, his body language at the top, of what he's really trying to accomplish. And so it's there's been improvement the whole whole year, and, and that just goes with each rep, just understanding how he's going to do certain things and come out of it. And, um, yeah, he's a stud. I, I can't say enough about him. Yeah, and and obviously the, the offense the last couple of weeks, though, did not click similarly to, I guess, the middle of that season. To what do you yeah. owe that, Baker? You know, the, the last two games against division opponents that um, – really good against the run really physical teams against the run i know stat wise you know wins and losses carolina is not not the best but uh they have a good defense statistically and so they, they presented their own issues and we didn't play our best games i didn't i didn't start with that and uh just we found a way to win and that's what it comes down to at, at the end of the year and uh, found a way to get into the playoffs and now we just got to put it all together uh, baker mayfield joining us here on the rich eisen show your your previous playoff experience where you and the Browns boat race the Steelers, you go into Arrowhead, you really give a game to the Kansas City Chiefs. How will you utilize that? Because playoff experience means so much, and so many players don't know that until they get in the middle of the game sometimes, and just it just feels different. How are you going to be able to draw? What, what, what from that experience will you draw to bring into Monday night, Baker? Yeah, just think, thinking about those games, it's – Teams don't beat themselves, and from the quarterback position, it's taking care of the ball, taking the easy completions. Yeah, we're going to have certain game plan things that we want to scheme up and take our shots, but taking care of the ball, staying ahead of the chains, and just making sure we give ourselves a chance to be in this game. Our defense is playing extremely well right now, special teams as well, so we got to do our part, play a little field position game, and score as many points as possible. So uh, for me, it's it's back to the basics and a hyper-focus on that. And then who are you circling so far in the in the meetings? What, what are, Who are you circling? on the screen for Philadelphia well, right now. We, we, their whole front is uh, one big circle. <laughs> yeah. One, one big circle. They, they have a bunch of studs up front uh, and they've done such a good job personnel wise of bringing these guys in and continuing to, um, 
when they when they take out their starters, they rotate the the backups in, and they're not backups by any means. And, and so, just got to be ready for that. Got to handle their front and go from there. Well, I guess in a way, it's it's another playoff game for you against Georgia, right? Against. <laughs> <laughs> Except this one, the trip. I'm, I'm, a different outcome. I, yeah. I, I know, and it probably won't go to triple overtime as well. You know, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's yeah. just—it seems like you're taking on Georgia again uh, with exactly. Philadelphia, and uh, and again, um, you and Hertz. I know. Did you ever reach out to him when he was at Oklahoma? Is, is there any any history at all? You and him, very and his... briefly. Okay, not, not a whole lot. Uh, more of the communication was through Lincoln Riley, but um, other than that, no, Jalen. He's always been a great leader. He showed that from when he was at Alabama going to Oklahoma and obviously now. And so um, he, he's been playing at a high level for a long time and got, got a lot of respect for him. All right, Baker. And, and again, I, I and I appreciate you, you know, starting the conversation, talking about the collective, you know, the leader of, in many ways uh, of this team and obviously a leader on this team. Um, and but I, I'd love if you wouldn't mind just a couple of questions about you here, man. I mean, with everything that went down in the off season last year and you getting an opportunity, as you point out and use it as the word opportunity for the bucks. And now here you are, you, you, you won a division. You've made, you've made the playoffs with this team. You've got a ticket to the tournament right now and there's lots for you to do. And I know you don't want to spike the football, but is there a part of you that's like showing everybody, look, you know, I'm still Baker freaking Makefield. Anything like that? What do you got? Uh, no, for me, it was getting an opportunity to play in a stable organization and uh, knowing what the pieces I had around me. And from the very beginning, and I said this a lot to, to our local people, but they've empowered me to be the best version of myself. And that's all I can truly ask for. And that that, that even goes back to pre-draft stuff, knowing Todd Bowles when he was with the Jets um, and saying that if I was going to be there, he wanted me to be me and, and, and do that at a high level. So uh, I can't say enough about them empowering me and allowing me to do that. And that's I'm having fun playing football again, and that's when I'm at my best. When you say empower you, well, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? You know, you know, I'm going to give a couple side jabs here and there, have some fun around the locker room and the organization. So uh, they, they just get used to it. They, they understand that I'm having fun. Uh, I've always enjoyed the way, you know, people are wired, whether they need an arm around them or, or a little rib jab. So uh, just just allowing me to, to be the best version of my leadership wise. And so um, I've enjoyed it a lot. OK, so and do you think this is your spot after how long you play in the playoffs this year? Is it, Are you home? Baker? I, I would hope for that. Yeah. But uh, here's the thing. I've allowed myself going into free agency again to to show people what I'm capable of. And, uh, but yeah, it's been a great place here and I would love to be back. Okay. So, but there have been no conversations between team Baker and team Tampa or not that I know of. I know there's probably a mutual interest to come back here. Um, but no specifics. We'll handle that whenever we, we finish up. Okay. Baker. Well, it's great to chat with you, man. It's been too long. It really has been. Has been too long, Rich. Well, it's been a few months. I, I just want to let you percolate. I don't want to bother you. You know what I mean? I just want to watch you be. <laughs> The best version, and I love it, you know. I mean, you get up, you, you the first down signals are still as crisp as ever. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're still stiff farming as crisp as ever. We, and had you, to, we had to brush a couple of those things off, knock the dust off. Okay, you know, and, and the guys here accuse me of wanting to, you know, have you as my uh, – one of my my sons, right? How many? I've got two sons. You're, you're his third son, Baker. You're his third son. You know? Yeah. You I'm, can only ask to be third in the Eisen family, yes, you know? You know? Hey, and you know, there's two dogs as well, Baker. So you know how that works. So, I know how that hierarchy goes. So I'm not going to you. So, you know, a little bit down after the dogs in the house. But uh, I just love watching you play. And I just know um, what do you think is going to be going through your mind in that tunnel? Monday night, the rest of Super Wild Card Weekend has already played out. It's just you and your team and the Eagles, and you know that's a defending NFC champs, and you know the whole country is just watching. What's going through your mind in that tunnel Monday night, do you think? It's another great opportunity for us to go out and show what we're capable of. You know, like like I said earlier, a lot of people doubted us from the very beginning, um, and here we are in the playoffs now going up against a good opponent. So do it the best we can, handle it the best we can, and have fun while doing it. Do you and get that's the this Bucks team plays their best. Do you get in the middle of a do you, do you gather everybody? Do you give them the last words before going out there? You that guy? Not necessarily. Uh maybe a few things in the locker room but not not on the field. No, oh, in the locker room. Behind the scenes. 
It's just a little one-on-one -on -one conversation with, with, with the offensive guys, uh, go around and, and dap up the defensive guys and yeah, just, just look them in the eyes and let them know we're ready to roll. All right. You know, you got sap too. You don't want to let him down. He'll be out there. 99 will be out there. Oh, he'll be there. You we'll know. get Ron Barber back for the Eagles fans. Uh, it'll be a good show. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Sap will tell you, Sap is so proud of the Bucks shutting down the old vet and opening up the new link by beating the Eagles both times. He just he just stands up straight 99 and Brooks does too. They'll all be there. I'm sure they'll all be there for you. Oh, they will. Oh. That's that's another cool spot or cool part about this place is those guys are still always still around. Baker, you're the man. Be well. Have a great uh, fun time. I'll be watching. Appreciate you guys. Be right back at you. That's Baker Mayfield. That's my boy right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.